So now let's try applying our measurement ideas to some more complicated shapes. We're going to be calculating the surface area and the volume of each of these shapes. Okay, have a look at this one. I've got to work out the surface area and the volume. Let's start with surface area. What shapes do I have? I've got some flat rectangles around the shape, top, sides, underneath, on the left. And I've got a funny shape on the front and the same funny shape on the back. Okay, let's think about all these rectangles here first. Well, let's just do it the simple way. I've lost my colours. Let's just label them. One, two, four, five is on the bottom. Six is on the, that side. Now, how am I going to work out the area on the front here? I'm actually going to split it up into two separate rectangles. Let me do that in a way that you can see on that video. Okay, and we'll call this one seven and this one eight. And then on the back, we've got a seven and eight extra. Okay, let's go. Area one, rectangle four by, oh, how long is that? It's going to be the same as all of them. It's the depth of the shape, 10 centimetres. Which is, oops, that should be an equal sign, which is 40. 40 what? Square centimetres. Area two. Number two, oh, how long is that side going to be? Oh, well, this side is 20, and this length here is, well, this one is 12, so this one's also 12. So this one's also 12. If that's 20 and that's 12, that leaves 8 for there. We get another colour. Just to remind us that this is one we worked out. Eight centimetres. There. Okay, so this rectangle is eight by ten. Let's do three. Oh, how long is this? Well, this is sixteen. And this bit up here, which is the same as this bit here, is 4. So if that's 16 and that's 4, then this amount left here must be 12. This one to move on. That bit there must be 12 centimetres. Okay, if that's 12, then number 3 is 12 by 10. Five is a rectangle on the bottom. It's going to be 16 by 10. Six. Six is on the left hand side there. It's going to be 20 by 10 again. Okay, a couple more to go. Uh, let's have a look. Number seven. Seven is just this part of that front rectangle. So seven is going to be 20 by four, which is 80. And number eight, this rectangle here, 
is 12, which we worked out before, by another 12. Now be careful. For the total surface area, don't forget, there's two lots of the front and face here because there's this and then the, the shape on the back is exactly the same. So my total surface area is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2 lots of 7 and 2 lots of 8. Get your calculator out and you should get, let's have a look. Okay, 140, 280, 3 120, 4 120, 5 160, 6 200, 2 lots of 7, and 2 lots of 8. Oops, type the wrong thing. I get 1168 square centimetres. That's the surface area. Now if I have to calculate the volume of this shape, I need to ask myself, is it a prism or is it a pyramid? Well, it's clearly not a pyramid. There's no apex. But is it a prism? Is there one face which if I take cross sections parallel to that face, I'll get the same shape all the way through this, through this solid? Yes, there is. This front face is the base of the, of the prism, which means this depth here, 10, is the height of the prism. <coughs> so let's try that. Let me get another colour just for fun. Okay, so for the prism, this shape here is my base. It's the one that's the same all the way through. So, hold on, let me get up. Just so we can keep our work separate. So we are actually going to use some numbers from down here. The volume of my prism is the area of the base times by the height. But what's the area of the base? The area of this base shape is 7 plus 8, isn't it? It's 80 plus 144. 80 plus 144. Multiply by the height of the prism which is the 10. Now that height has to be perpendicular to the base, going into the board in this case. Don't forget to do this first before you multiply. 80 plus 144, I could probably have done that in my head, 224 times 10, which is 2240 cubic centimetres. And there's the volume.